Zoe! Zoe! Don't run from poetry! Don't run from poetry, Zoe! Zoe, don't run from poetry! Oh no! Oh no! She ran to poetry. Dusting. Hope you enjoy. Dusting. Each morning I wrote my name on the dusty cabinet, then crossed the dining table in script, scrawled in capitals on the backs of chairs, practicing signatures like scales while mother followed squirting linseed from a burping can into a crumpled up flannel. She erased my fingerprints from the bookshelf and rocker, polished mirrors on the desk scribbled with my alphabets. My name was swallowed in the towel with which she jeweled the tabletops. The grain surfaced in the oak and the pine grew luminous, but I refused with every mark to be like her, anonymous. Summary, I got deep with this one. My summary is through the small rebellious act of writing in dust, the speaker begins a lifelong journey of breaking societal expectations. Subjects I see are transformation, societal expectations, gender norms, tradition, and power. My second favorite part of this, sharing with you what I was inspired by and what gave me a little bit of trouble. So you can see the purple here is what I was inspired by. I only have one thing that gave me trouble with this poem and that is Lindsay from a burping can. I think that there could be some symbolism with linseed that I might not be aware of and then I also think I know what a burping can is but I might not actually know um, and this is the part that I really did like and I liked it because of all the punctuation that's in there when you're reading this out loud um, you really have to take the breath that's offered with this end stop because if you notice there's in jam it here and jam it and jam it and stop here and then this whole last part there's just enjambment over and over and over again so i really enjoy when poets think that through and give a purpose behind the punctuation which artists and poets always do that but sometimes it's not as clear to me as it is right now in this one now, I also really liked these last parts. She erased my fingerprints from the bookshelf and rocker. That's just scary and eerie and beautiful. And then this part, with which she jeweled the tabletops. I really love the with which, with with with, and then the t t tabletops. So you have to now compare just my notes with what you had. Tell me if we got anything that's similar or anything that's different. I would really love to know that. Um, and you can do that maybe just in the comments or maybe just by texting me, it's totally fine too. Um, but you're voting which one is stronger, dusting 